So this is a um, Aeronaut in um, 1050D ballistic nylon, which is the sort of the, the heavyweight um, in the in the bunch. This particular one happens to be steel in colour, and uh, if I open it up, you can see inside that it has a steel lining as well. Whilst I'm opening it up, you can see that the main meat of this bag is it's one very big section in the middle, which can actually be extended using these uh, by releasing these poppers in here. Four of them. You can actually push the lining the lining here of these pockets right out to the outside. It gives you um, the whole of the area of the bag in, in one go pretty much. Or, in its standard form, you've got these two very large pockets on the outside. You can, you've also on one end you've got a slip pocket open and at the other you've got a zip. A zip pocket goes the full length of that end, that end of the bag all the way to the bottom. Um, inside that one you've got a little o-ring for attaching things. I've got my uh, Tombin um, luggage tag, I've got a Tombin key strap and I've got another key strap with a little torch on it. Um, it also in the main one, main pocket, you have a couple of o-rings at the top there. You've also got tie-down straps for securing your clothes, particularly if you're doing a sort of bundle pack, you can put it in there, tie it down with those straps, keeps it all in. If you're using um, packing cubes, what I quite often do is I pack paperwork at the bottom tied down with these straps in a large organiser pouch, then I put the two packing cubes on top, my laptop on top of that, ready to be whipped out um, at security. And the top here, in the hood, we have a mesh pocket, which also has an O-ring in there, in the corner. On the outside of the bag, I added all these um, key uh, ring uh, zip pulls because my fingers are a bit poor and uh, it makes it easier to manhandle. You can pick this bag up using the handle strap on the top, handle on the top. On the back we have, which is common to all of these except my Western Flyer, we have um, rucksack straps with a sternum strap and you can add a waist strap, I don't have one on here. These straps quite easily can tuck away into the into the back of the into the back of the, the pack and it just becomes just a carry-on bag which you can use with uh, uh, shoulder strap particularly the absolute shoulder strap is particularly good if you've got one of these bags and it's a bit um, hefty because this bag will will get away with even some of the sort of Ryanair European carry-on allowances that way it's okay Lengthwise, it's okay. The one you have to worry about is that Ryanair have only a 20 centimeter thick allowance, you know, this way, whereas most uh, airlines are 25, so that's 8 inches versus 10 inches. 2 inches makes a hell of a lot of a difference in this scenario. The Aeronaut is actually not, doesn't full, completely fill the uh, dimension this way. So when you pack it, you have to try and remember to pack it relatively flat, but where you so you, so it will fit within the their allowances. But where you do come a cropper is that they have a ten kilogram weight limit. Fill this up full, particularly if you've got a, a laptop and an iPad and a few other bits and pieces in there. And before you know it, you'll be at fourteen or fifteen kilos. If they catch you with that, they'll make you check it. Having said that, they don't tend to weigh bags at check at the gate. They tend to weigh them when you're checking in. So unless you have to check in a bag, don't take this anywhere near the check-in desk because they might just weigh it and then you'll be in trouble. 
Okay, so that's a basic run through of the Aeronaut. If you want more information about how much you can pack in it and things like that, have a look at some of the videos that are already on you. Now this one is in the new uh, Dyneema material. Now, as far as I can gather, having compared these two bags pretty closely, there is not any difference between the two in terms of cut, shape, features, facilities, zips, anything. Except that this one is in this um, 400D Dyneema stroke, 420D uh, nylon fabric. It makes it lighter and because there's a lot of the Dyneema fabric in this bag you get pretty much the full benefit of the weight saving and the, the lighter weight material um, and it is something like uh, about a quarter lighter something like 400 grams now 400 grams might not seem like a lot but that's more than half the weight of an iPad for example um, even 3G iPads uh, so it actually does make quite a difference if you're trying to keep to that 10 kilogram or some airlines even things like 6 or 7 kilogram weight limits. Um, the only other difference with this particular one, other than the fact it's got some things inside it, is this one has a nice uh, wasabi um, 200D Denima lining as opposed to the steel in the other one. This is still steel on the outside but 400D Dyneema steel. Um, the other thing I didn't mention about the other one, and it's the same on both, they also have these handles at the end which are really useful if you put your bag in the overhead um, uh, luggage and you want to, uh, you know, grab it out, which is uh, actually quite an important, uh, quite an interesting feature. And I've also got an absolute shoulder strap here, which uh, is, um, it's got this lovely stretchy bit in the middle. It's this sort of um, neoprene on one side with a, uh, a nylon cover on the other. So that means when you put it on your shoulder, neoprene side down, it stays put. Put it on your shoulder, um, nylon side down, you can slide it about a bit. Depends just which is more important to you on a, on a given time. But this strap really does make your bag feel lighter because of the stretch in that, um, in the top. It sort of gives it a little sort of a suspension. It's also really, really well made. It's got these lovely um, metal uh, clips on it, very easy to use, really really nice piece of kit. Uh, again we've got the tie down straps inside and in the end pockets we also have packing cubes. Now, these packing cubes are pretty good because it's much easier to take one of these, sit it on the side, fill it till it's full Throw it in here and then just uh, do the zip and when you get to the other end, when you've got to where you're going, you just undo the zip, pull that out and for example, that's one of these perhaps is all the things I have in the, in my, uh, beside my bed. The other one I might have, um, for example, all the things that I might want through in the, in the living room. Um, and then I've probably got, in each of the packing cubes, I've probably got my clothes. I've got one packing cube here which is uh, uh, steel uh, Dyneema. I always think it's a shame they don't make, come in different colours. I'd like these in, in different colours so that I could know what was in which particular one. This one's not too bad because it's, because it's mesh on one side. You can actually see what's inside it. The end ones are all Dyneema, so you can't see what's inside them. This you can pack, pack it really full. This just goes in the bottom of, of here once it's packed up. Now this does come in different colours. I would love to have had it in um, Wasabi, but it was out of stock at the time. But, so I had a choice of Iberian, or which is red, or Ultraviolet. Now this, again, it's the same shape as the other packing cube, but this is in fact inside out, and this is the way you use it as a packing cube. You fill it up, zip it up, pop it in the um, centre compartment of the Aeronaut. But you can also unzip it, 
turn it the other way out and it becomes a pack, uh, packing cube backpack. Now the backpack is a goodly size, you, you also have a nice big pocket at the bottom. And this is the reason why you turn it inside out because with that, if you packed it that way it wouldn't actually fit in the air or not. But in, when you turn it inside out that, plus the shoulder straps, which is just as lightweight shoulder straps on the back and a grab handle, actually fit nice and neatly inside inside the bag. So that's that, these are both really good bags and if I could only ever have one, Old Faithful, my ballistic aeronaut would be my one bag. But luckily enough I don't have to choose. I'm able to choose different bags for different scenarios. Next one I'm going to have a look at is this one. 